Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into a couple more battles on my main account, but before we get into them, I'm actually going to open up some super magical chests, seeing as I haven't in a while on this account. I do need some more gold to upgrade some of my cards, things like my archers and my knight aren't maxed out, as well as you can see my bowler is still level 6, hopefully I can get him up to level 7, so I'm just going to open up some chests, hopefully we'll get some legendaries as well, and seeing as we got 18 giant skeletons that means we're gonna get a lumberjack from this chest but honestly I haven't seen anyone play the lumberjack too effectively just yet I know some people have run the lumberjack balloon combo um, to a little bit of success there I tried lumberjack three musketeers myself it didn't work out too well 11 expos are you serious but anyways let's keep moving 11 mirrors we're gonna get another legendary from this chest another lumberjack okay supercell's telling me to play the lumberjack right now um, but yeah, if you guys didn't know, if you're maxed out on a card, then, and if you actually get that card, then it turns it into gold, so I'm hoping to get a lot of gold from these chests that I can use towards my other cards to upgrade, but I guess I'm gonna use it on the bowler, since it only costs like 50,000 to get up to level 7, as we get 20 more bowlers right there, uh, yeah, that'll pretty much do it for the chest openings right now, so 85,000 gold, not quite enough to get something to level 13 if I wanted to max out one of my commons, like the knight or the archers, but again, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that bowler to level 7, hopefully I can get it to level 8 sometime soon, it's pretty fun to use inside of different decks. Um, I know I showed you guys an Ice Spirit Bowler deck that worked out pretty well recently, but as you can see, only a couple more cards to upgrade. The Lumberjack has 4 out of 10 right there. The Mortar will stay at level 12 for the rest of its existence, but let's go ahead and get into a couple of battles, keep pushing on my main account, and I keep playing this deck that I've been having so much fun with that I've been climbing with. You guys know this deck. It's no defenses. I've got my Princess, Hog Rider, uh, Mini P.E.K.K.A., as well as a bunch of other small units. He's going to play his Princess in the very back. I'm going to play my Princess right in its face. It should be able to take out his princess as well and uh, now my mini pack is just gonna run towards the tower I actually ended up zapping to try to kill that prince but the dragon breath ended up killing uh, my mini P.E.K.K.A. a little bit unfortunate right there but still I'm gonna be able to split up his attack by having the tower kill the baby dragon the guards kill the prince and then the goblins kill the miner so honestly a little bit of a fail with that zap but it only cost me a few hundred HP so really not down in the dumps at all about that push and uh, we can go ahead and reset and try to do something a little more proper using our hog rider freeze combo now taking a look at what we want to play obviously the princess wouldn't be a bad start i'm debating whether to play it way back there because he could do what i just did to him by playing the princess immediately so i'm going to play the free spell on top of the mini pekka as well as the tower and the hog rider is going to keep slamming away at that tower bring it all the way down to 1475 hp and uh, i definitely say that that was a successful hog freeze push right there so guards will clean up the miner as well as his guards i've got my own princess that i can play onto his and now we've taken a pretty decent chunk of damage off of his tower and uh, so long as we can defend against those minor pushes we should be okay now the goblins i put there to protect my princess i wanted to make sure the princess didn't get one shot by something like a mini pekka so they did a good job right there and the princess just got an insane amount of hits onto that tower bringing it down to 763 and uh, my mini pekka should be able to clean up his but unfortunately it's gonna have a little bit of hp left and actually get a swing off against my tower i should have played another card if i had the elixir too maybe i could have played the guards i'm not exactly sure if i got greedy right there but i really felt like that one would have been uh in my favor so we're gonna be pretty even going into the rest of this uh extra time and he's gonna play an elixir pump and if he plays the elixir pump you guys know what that means i'm gonna go in for an all-out push i've got the hog riders i've got the minions i've got the guards i've got the free spell i froze even after the tower went down for a little bit of overkill but my guards will clean up that princess mini pekka should be able to tank this baby dragon as well goblins to stop the prince and then as soon as i can drop those minions i'll use those uh, to kill that miner so things are looking pretty good he's freaking out and going on a crazy push he's got the mini pekka and the uh the prince right there my minions are going to do work and help kill that princess my own princess will take his out as well 488 hp left on my tower that means i just have to defend against this miner as best as i can i'm going to drop my goblins i've got the zap spell as well as i need it if i need it i've got the minions the zap onto the baby dragon and with 134 hp the only thing that can really stop me is if he has a direct take damage card and all he has is that princess and the princess won't fire off in time to take out my tower so an extremely close game we 
we ended up chipping him down with that hog freeze push and he wasn't able to finish us off towards the end even though we don't have any defenses in this deck so 17 trophies against a fully maxed out level 13 and let's go ahead and face off against another another as we face Hassam from glory makers so Princess in the back, he's going to play his Elixir Pump pretty standard start. I don't have my Hog Rider, which I would prefer to have right now. I have my Mini P.E.K.K.A., so I'm going to go for a really strange Mini P.E.K.K.A. Guards push. And uh, seeing as he's going to do all of this, I'll play my Free Spell to try to stop him in his tracks. My Princess is going to do work. I've got a Zap Spell as well as if I need it. He's going to play his own Zap, and I'll play mine just in the nick of time to get my Mini P.E.K.K.A. to get a shot off against the Tower. So Tower's going to go all the way down to the 1700s, even the 1600s, and uh, my minion should be able to stop this minor so a, a really good offensive push right there now obviously he does have the elixir advantage so you're notice you're, you're going to notice that i'll go on the defensive from here on out um i don't want to do anything too crazy because that pump in the back means i have to play cautiously i play the elixir pump all the time so i really feel like i know how to play well against it like that's the thing with cards if you guys find yourself struggling against a card go ahead and try it out yourself and to see if you can take it out, unless it's the Expo or Mortar, because then you have to have Morals, and you guys know how that goes. But anyways, always good to play your opponent's cards just to figure out uh, exactly how to defend against it, and we're going to end up taking out his tower, as well as get two hits off on that Elixir Pump with our Hog Rider, so that actually ended up being pretty crucial. That's taking away two Elixir from him just with that one HP Hog Rider. And uh, this game is going absolutely perfect as we reach the halfway point. Now, with a minute and 30 seconds left, he's barely touched my towers. I can just play my minions to guard against his right here. And uh, at this point, if he's going to keep stockpiling Elixir and do absolutely nothing with it, I can just turtle out for the rest of the game and pick up a pretty simple win. But there's the card that he was saving up. He was saving up the Lava Hound the entire game. I don't have a great counter to the Lava Hound. I have to use my Princess as well as my minions. And if he has a Poison spell or his own minions he can take that out fairly easily so let's go ahead and use our princess there's his poison spell and uh, guys i don't have a musketeer in this deck this deck is going to be extremely obnoxious for me to deal with so i have to wait for that um poison to go down before i drop my uh minions so my minions are going to go down they should kill his minions and turn around and focus on the lava hound meanwhile my hog rider did okay damage against his tower but this is where i'm worried the lava pups do so much damage so luckily right when it explodes my princess ends up shooting all of the pups at once and brings them to like 1 HP, so still my tower's all the way down to the 900s, and there's only 30 seconds left in this battle, so I'm a little bit nervous right now. I don't have a good counter to this Lava Hound push inside of his deck, and uh, I just have to weather the storm the best I can and try to take it out. Now, goblins should be able to stop the mini P.E.K.K.A. and the guards. I'm just keep spamming troops in front of my tower as long as we fight on my side of the map. Things should be okay. He's going to drop another poison spell, which shouldn't be able to bring my tower below like 400 HP. I'm going to freeze his miner with four seconds left just to make sure we don't take any other damage. And with time expiring, we barely hold on to yet another one crown to zero victory. And uh, yeah, the Lava Hound was messing me up inside of that battle. If he played another one, I definitely would have lost. So let's go ahead and get into one final match to wrap up this video. Now, I have to warn you guys during this battle, I was FaceTiming my mom, and if you guys have ever FaceTimed with someone or been on the phone when playing Clash Royale, things tend to get really, really ugly. So you're about to see that right now. Let's go ahead and go for a Hog Rider Princess push on the left. Uh, Mini Peck, of course, is going to be right in my Hog Rider's way. I've got some great reaction time right there with the Zap, as my mom tells me about her day. Mini Peck is going to go ahead and stomp me down, and a Guard's going to go down on the left. I've got the Goblins on the right to kill that Princess. Meanwhile, the Tower is getting smacked down by that Hog Rider, and I have absolutely nothing in my hand to uh, stop it so chief mom distracting me for the very first tower of the game i should have gone for the right hand side when i attacked and take his took his princess out with my princess near the tower but we've given up a tower for the very look at this princess right here i'm not playing very smart and uh, we're gonna have to step things up so princess doesn't end up taking out his princess his goblins are running towards my tower at this point don't really know which side I want to attack, but luckily this guy is not a level 13, and hopefully that'll give us at least a tiny bit of an advantage, even though his cards are almost completely maxed out. So Hog Riders and Guards running down the lane. Looks like the Guards will be on the other Guards, and my Hog Rider will just focus onto the Tower. Tower's down to 1,636 HP, so I'm thinking he doesn't have any defenses inside of his deck. If he had some defenses, he would have played them by now on either of my Hog Rider pushes, but instead, he's just been opting for his Mini P.E.K.K.A., been opting for his Hog Rider, so I'm just going to keep using my cards. In fact, we might have the same exact deck, except he might not have the Freeze. I'm not exactly sure, but he has the Princess, he has the Mini P.E.K.K.A., Hog Rider, Guards, and the Zap, as well as the Goblins, so maybe we're running a bit of a mirror matchup uh, that I just haven't really noticed so far. So slowly chipping that 
tower down on the left. Again, I sort of realized by this point that he doesn't have any defenses, so I can just keep throwing my Hog Rider at it over and over and over again. So Hog Rider's in my hand, waiting to see what he's going to do. And with a minute left, again, I just have to go as quickly as possible, get that free spell ready, and to freeze that mini P.E.K.K.A. as soon as he gets a single hit off onto my Hog. Now, Zap Spell is going to go down, give my Hog Rider one last chance to smack down that tower and finally we've dug ourselves out of the hole that we made for ourselves in the very beginning of the game and uh, we're going to go ahead and even up the score with only 40 seconds remaining now of course he's going to go on a counter push he's got his own free spell guys it's a mirror matchup deck just like i had thought his mini peck is going to start going crazy on my goblins fortunately they don't end up getting a shot off against my tower and with that desperate push finally the game's somewhat going back into our favor and uh, we can try to go for a push down the right hand lane so hog rider's going down princess is going down i've got the free spell as well as if I need it, so I'm going to go ahead and freeze that mini P.E.K.K.A. right there. Hog Rider's going to take a couple of hits on the tower before he plays a defensive free spell, and he knows he's in trouble going in for the rest of the match because my King Tower is definitely harder to get to, and uh, yeah, we can just go ahead and play a little bit of defense on this right-hand side. My tower's got plenty of HP. I'll play some Goblins. I've got my Hog Rider that I can play. I've got my Princess I can play if I want to. He drops a Cry Face because he knows this game is all but over, playing his own free spell to st try to stop my push, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and freeze that down as soon as I can. I'm going to zap down the Goblins as well as the Guards. The tower's all the way down to 130 HP, which means we need one single more hit from our Hog Rider to wrap up the game let's go ahead and drop it in the very center and shout out to chief mob for supporting me throughout this entire battle we're gonna pick up that two crown to one victory against desper from russia so good game that one was definitely closer than it should been i have to say that but two crowns a silver chest 17 trophies and we walked away with the w so yeah that's gonna do it with this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it again i got those lumberjacks if you guys think there's a good lumberjack deck i should play just drop me a comment in the comment section below uh, but that is going to wrap it up for this video hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys later Peace.